here's what's going down in TV land. Tuesday, June 7th, we have All Rise on Peacock. Wednesday, June 8th, The Janes on Apple TV. Wednesday, June 8th, Miss Marvel on Paramount+. Plus. Wednesday, June 8th, Baby Fever on Netflix. Wednesday, June 8th, Hungry for Answers. Thursday, June 9th, Stand Out, an LGBTQ plus celebration on Netflix. Thursday, June 9th, Queer as Folk on Peacock, Finding a Million on Disney Plus. Friday, June 9th, For All Mankind on Apple TV, Lovely Little Farm on Apple TV, Peaky Blinders on Netflix, First Kill on Netflix, Intimacy on Netflix, Fairfax on Prime Video, Saturday, June 11th, First Blood on A&E, Panic 911 on A&E, Sunday, June 12th, Evil on Paramount Plus, Dark Winds on AMC Plus, June 12th, the 75th Annual Tony Awards on CBS. The booze, the bets, and the sex that built America on the History Channel. See, that that sounds like a fun show. Uh, I'm trying to find out about the booze. I'm just saying. Becoming Elizabeth on Stars. Pete Davidson presents Best Friends on Netflix. Charlie's Chloroform City Mighty Movie Adventure on Netflix. On Monday, June 13th, The Great Give Back with Melissa McCarthy and Jenna per- Perusich on HD- HGTV. I don't know. Do you guys like watching the shows where people just give charity out or the YouTube videos where people walk around giving homeless people stuff? I think that's fantastic. I just find it slightly performative when it's done on, on the internet for views. So if if you really if you are not doing this for views, then you would do it whether or not the camera's on or off. Just saying. Other than that, hey, help your fellow man always. Here's what's going down at the movie theater. Jurassic World Dominion. Dominion takes place four out four hours. Ha! Four years after Isla Nublar has been destroyed. Dinosaurs now live and hunt alongside humans all over the world. The fragile balance will reshape the future and determine once and for all whether human beings are to remain apex predators or on a planet they now share with the history's most fearsome creatures. And it's got Bryce Dallas Howard, Sam Neill, Chris Pratt, Emily Carmichael, Mamdu Athi, Campbell Scott, Justice Smith, and Laura Dern. I'm really excited about this movie. I know I love the original Jurassic Park and I read the books. I just, I really want to see how this shakes out with humans and dinosaurs living side by side. So I'm geeked and I will be doing and I saw everything on this. So keep an eye out and tune in next week movie premieres um that are not in theater the limited version so we got crimes of the future i'm charlie walker and lost illusions i saw everything (laughs) today on i saw everything i went to see top gun here we go three What do we have here? Yeah, here I thought we were special. Fellas, this here's Bagman. Hangman. Oh, whatever. What the hell kind of mission is this? Everyone here is the best there is. Who the hell are they gonna get to teach us? Captain Pete Maverick Mitchell. Let me be perfectly blunt. You are not my first choice. You were here at the request of Admiral Kazansky, AKA Iceman. 
He seems to think that you have something left to offer the Navy. What that is, I can't imagine. With all due respect, sir, I'm not a teacher. Just want to manage expectations. What the hell? Good morning, aviators. This is your captain speaking. Then we're off. Here we go. In three, two, one. We're going into combat on a level no living pilot's ever seen. Not even him. You think up there you're dead. Believe me. My dad believed in you. I'm not gonna make the same mistake. Someone's not coming back from this. Those are your pilots. Anything happens to them. Smoke in the air, smoke in the air. You will never forgive yourself. No turning back now. Having any fun yet? I'm so excited. Okay, so I really enjoyed this movie. We walked in and I thought it, for sure it was going to be crowded. This movie has been doing record numbers in the box office. I think it made $160 million the first week. The second week, it, it I think it made like maybe 20% less, something like that. Basically, I was listening to the radio and the guy on the radio said that the only other movie to have done these numbers on the second week at the box office was Shrek 2. So, and I'm not surprised because Listen, Gen X, Xennials, we're everywhere. We're everywhere. All, all the, the all y'all younger generations, you're just it's just a copy of us. We know. But we got money and we will spend money on our nostalgia. So we all went to the movies two weeks in a row. And here's what happened on Top Gun Maverick. Spoiler alert, you've been alerted to the spoils. So we open up and Maverick is test piloting an airplane and trying to get it to go Mach 10. Of course, he not only gets it to go Mach 10, he gets it to go like Mach 10.5 or something. And he lands the plane and then he gets a phone call saying, well, he, he gets in trouble, but then he gets a phone call that he has to go back to Top Gun school to train the best pilots to have ever graduated out of Top Gun uh, to train them on a top secret mission. And who's in this group of pilots? None other than Goose's kid, Rooster. This fills in a plot hole for me because after the first Top Gun, I always asked, why wasn't the family pissed at Maverick? See, I would have been mad even if it's not his fault, the military determined that it's not his fault, I personally would have felt some type of way that my husband went flying with this pilot who's responsible for his life and my husband managed to eject into a canopy and die. It's not, it's not reasonable, but I would have the unreasonable anger and I would feel like Maverick killed my husband. So when Rooster goes to Top Gun school, it filled in that plot hole. So he, they exchanged words. He was more mad about Maverick blocking him from officer school than Maverick being in the same plane as his dad when, when his dad died. So that happened. I think I gave the script a two because... Tom Cruise is a really good actor. I I know I sound surprised because I don't know, he always seemed kind of like kind of a weirdo to me. 
But he is actually a really great actor. So shout out to Tom Cruise. Sorry, I thought you were kind of a weirdo. But performances, I gave a two because I really believed that there was this conflict between Maverick and Rooster. I the the thing I was so confused about was why was Iceman so much older than Maverick? Iceman was all old and and coughing and dying and Maverick still looked young. I thought they were around the same age. In fact, when they were in the first Top Gun, they looked the same age. They they were flying and and youthful and competitive. So I I just was not understanding why Iceman looked so much older than Maverick. That was that was the only plot hole to me. Uh, set pieces I gave a zero because while it was a fantastic film, there were no set pieces that just brought it all together. The real the real breakout star in this film was the cinematography. So they were able to get cameras directly into the cockpit of these airplanes so you can see everything happening while the pilots were in the airplane, which was absolutely fantastic. So all in all, this movie gets an, I want to say, eight, eight impossible missions out of ten for... Top Gun Maverick definitely check it out for yourself it was a really great movie and I thoroughly enjoyed myself keep it locked after the promo we're gonna talk about what's really going down in the PM Ooh, I've been dying to try this place oh my god me too I've heard such good things about it welcome to the crime diner I'm Cindy I'll be cooking for you this evening. Here are your menus. Oh, what are you thinking about getting? I don't know, murder with a side of cannibalism? What about you? Ooh, that sounds good. I'm torn between historical mayhem and the social injustice, maybe? Oh. I just want to let you know that each episode comes with dinner, dessert, and a specialty drink chosen by yours truly. Wine Dine and Storytime has had a makeover, and we invite you to slide into the booth with us at the Crime Diner, where each week we will discuss a crime over dinner, drinks, and dessert. See you there! <laughs> <laughs> 